Alright, the new Mr. Beast situation is actually insane. For those that don't know, about 10 hours ago, Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul launched a brand new product. And people, I think, at this point have just had enough of these YouTubers, and specifically these three in particular, with making products that are genuinely just terrible for you and complete trash quality. So let's begin. Dexodo, the new site, tweeted this out about 10 hours ago. Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul are releasing Lunchly, a Lunchables competitor. It will feature prime Feastables chocolate and a variation of food. And KSI backed this up with a tweet of his own, Lunchly Baby, and it's just got a photo of him sitting there pulling his face, and you know, everyone's got lunch leaves and everyone's happy. Now, there are mixed opinions on this, right? Because when originally KSI and Logan Paul released Prime, when Mr. Beast launched Feastables and Beast Burger and everything like that, everyone was happy for these guys, because obviously it's, you know, the first time that these YouTubers have actually gone into making products and becoming actual entrepreneurs. It was kind of like the first time YouTubers had actually branched out from something outside of YouTube and actually made their own products, which, you know, everyone thought was cool, including myself. So obviously people were happy for these guys. And this was a couple of years ago now. But I think now that especially that people like Logan Paul have been exposed for being a scammer, KSI really isn't much better himself. And now obviously Mr. Beast has a ton of allegations under his belt that he is yet to respond to. The trust for YouTubers and especially these three people specifically, KSI, Logan Paul and Mr. Beast, maybe KSI not so much, but he's definitely not perfect, has fallen so low that these people really just aren't happy having it anymore. And you might think that this is just a bunch of random people on Twitter talking bad about this new product. And you know, you might think it's just random accounts with six followers that have nothing better to do than sit here and complain about random YouTube products and YouTubers being richer than them. But uh, no, it's not actually just these random Twitter accounts. It is huge creators with millions of subscribers that have seriously just had enough with this and are starting to really speak out about it. So here's Dan TDM. What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know any better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. And you know what, bro? I can't lie to you. As much as I want to sit here and defend these guys because they're YouTubers and, you know, I'm a YouTuber so I want to sit here and defend KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast, I seriously just have to agree with Dan here. I mean, seriously, I can understand that you can't just promote complete healthy stuff all the time. They obviously have a business that they need to run. They've got YouTube channels they need to run so they need to sell stuff that actually sells well, which unfortunately in today's landscape is unhealthy process stuff. But god damn bro, it is so obvious that they do not care one single bit anymore about actually making a product that helps people or improves people's lives in any way. They're literally just adding to the complete slot pile that already exists in the western diet simply because it makes them more money. They're adding to the crap that McDonald's and Coca-Cola and all these processed chemically concocted, you know, products already exist on the internet and online and in the outside world. World. They're literally just adding to that now. They're not adding anything valuable. They're just adding to the complete slop that already exists. Like seriously, these are no longer YouTubers at this point. These are greedy CEOs that do not care about your health at all and don't care about what goes into their products as long as they taste good and are addicting to children. And you might be sitting here saying, oh, well, glider guy, companies do this all the time. Why aren't you angry at Coca-Cola or McDonald's or any other greedy corporation? That is a stupid argument, first of all. Obviously, McDonald's and Coca-Cola are also terrible. I've never denied that ever. The point that I and so many other YouTubers are sitting here and saying is that KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast are just selling out now and acting like greedy corporations that only care about profits and nothing else. Even if it's at the cost of making a garbage product with zero nutritional value and is completely aimed at kids. In fact, it's probably worse in Mr. Beast's case because he has an audience that is primarily kids. He knows that because he's got such a huge audience that they're gonna buy anything that their favorite YouTuber tells them to. It's the same for KSI and it's the same for Logan Logan Paul, so I don't think I'm ruling them out either. You know, obviously Mr. Beast is the biggest one here, but KSI and Logan Paul are just as bad. Now, here we have Logan Paul's pathetic attempt at trying to justify why this product exists. Lunchly versus Lunchables, and you know, he does the Lunchly.com, so you can go and buy this manufactured crap. So here we have Lunchly the Pizza, which is, you know, it, it, it compares Lunchly versus Lunchables. So here we got the protein, 12 grams to 13 grams, calories 360 to 390, electrolytes, blah, blah, blah. And then we also have the turkey stackums, which I guess is another flavor that they've got, and they've got the same thing here. Now, this is where I seriously have a problem with this, and this is where I'm probably gonna start crashing out. Logan Paul isn't stupid, bro. He knows exactly what he's doing here. He's literally cherry-picking certain parts of the nutrition label because he knows how stupid and dumb kids are and how stupid that these kids' parents are, and he knows that they're gonna fall for this stupid crap sitting here saying, oh, well, I guess if Logan Paul's sitting here, you know, pointing out these nutrition facts, Lunchly is a healthier alternative 
alternative to Lunchables, which no, it isn't. Let me just tell you that right now. Don't fall for this crap, bro. This is not healthier than Lunchables. This absolutely doesn't paint the full picture of what Lunchlies actually have in them. And Logan Paul being the businessman he is and athlete he is, 100% knows that. So let's start with the calories, right? We've got 230 compared to 310. That 80 calorie difference literally means nothing. I don't even know why that's mentioned. Secondly, we have the electrolytes being 400 to 55. Any parent or kid is going to look at that and think, oh my god, you know, that's so much healthier. I'm getting so many more electrolytes. It's already been proven that the formula for Prime is total crap. Prime shouldn't even be called a sports drink with how garbage it is for you and how little sports benefits it actually has. So the electrolyte crap you're seeing here means nothing. Now for the sugar, right? We have 7 grams to 21 grams. So, you know, any normal person is going to sit there and think, oh wow, that's great. Now again, this literally means nothing when Prime has an artificial sweetener list that is more manufactured than a pot plant from Timu. Sure, it has less actual sugar in it, but it doesn't matter when all of the sweeteners in the food is fake and manufactured. It is pretty much just as bad as actual sugar. Now, when it comes to the nutritional value of the two things here, please don't be fooled by Logan Paul's pathetic attempt at trying to justify all the numbers you see here. They literally mean nothing. This is just as bad, if not worse, for you than an actual Lunchable. I know I seem like I'm really annoyed here, but I really just hate it when companies sell crap to children like this that benefits no one but themselves and their own pockets and still sit here and try and justify it as like, oh, well, it's not that bad. I guess it's kind of healthy. No, it's not. It's complete crap. And it's even worse when it's these huge YouTubers that know exactly what they're doing because they have a huge audience. Little Timmy when taking a bite of his lunch lee on the first day of school and it's got some guy going to the hospital. And that is true, bro. I can't wait to see, you know, all the tweets and pictures of, of just kids ending up in the hospital because of this crap. Please, if you're a parent considering buying this for your kid because they've seen it on Twitter and, you know, they're like, oh, mummy, please buy lunch lees for me. Please do not give into this crap. Do not buy your kids lunch lees. This is complete crap. And now we have this video here, which I guess is just the promo, which KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast are in. We came together mm. to create a Lunchables competitor featuring the fastest growing hydration beverage ever and the fastest growing candy ever. And so we did that. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce you to lunch lee. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. I smell so much diabetes and heart disease coming through the screen right now. I speak for everyone right now when I say, please pack it up and throw it away. We do not need this garbage. Jesus Christ. And to think a couple of years ago, there were these three people sitting here talking about making products that were better for you. Talking about how America has a diet problem and that, and that they want to fix it or whatever. Don't be fooled by that crap. Please understand right now that these guys do not care one bit about the obesity problem in America. They only care about money and profits. Now here we have another YouTuber called Squiddy. Why not teach kids healthy eating habits? They're comparing their product to Lunchables, which in itself is highly processed crap. None of them are passionate about health towards their fans, only their wallets. So disappointing. Could not have said it better myself, bro. Like, this is pretty much this all summed up in one tweet here. So yeah, bro, what do you think about Lunchly? Anyways, I'm done with these guys. Click the video on screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it, and I'll see you all over there. Subscribe.